Hey folks, welcome back to Bullets and Brass. Today we're doing a topic that I'm actually stealing from Paul Harrell. He has done this topic a couple times in different ways, and I think it's a good one. I think it's a particularly important one right now when ammo availability is kind of rough and you might have to make some tough choices in terms of where to put your money and and also be considering the compromises of what you can get versus what you might want to get. Now, the topic is premium defensive ammo versus basic defensive ammo. Now, I've got, this is standard Winchester white box, 115 grain jacketed hollow points. Uh, when it comes to self-defense ammo, this and the Remington equivalent are kind of the minimum, the baseline. And there's nothing wrong with them. They do the job. That is how they're marketed. That is how they're manufactured. That is what they're intended for. However, they are, generally speaking, less, less optimal. In comparison, I have Winchester Silver Tip. Okay, I've stuck with Winchester just for this comparison. 115 grain. Commonly discussed as a good self-defense load. Now... Price-wise, I paid, just recently, $15 for this 20-round box. I probably paid $15, maybe $17, uh, a year ago <laughs> for this 50-round box. So certainly much more expensive, more than double the money, right? And that, this is, that was a great price for this. These are usually a dollar a round. Uh, in my experience. So what's different? Well, the answer is, in practice, not a whole lot. Uh, in, in an optimal situation, shooting gelatin with a piece of denim in front of it, uh, a piece of leather jacket in front of it, sure, the silver tip probably performs more reliably, more effectively. In the real world, that's, that's not real. That, that's fiction. That is laboratory science as opposed to practical science. The practical science of this is you have to hit something important. And if you hit something important, almost any decent round does the job. The expansion is a nice benefit. However, an expanded round three inches away from anything important probably still doesn't matter. These aren't rifle rounds. There's no hydrostatic force. There is no huge temporary wound cavity. There's not even a large permanent wound cavity. Uh, these basically make a hole, and there's some damage around them, but it's not major. So in that case, why not go cheaper? Less reliable, um, not in terms of whether it goes bang, but... Maybe it doesn't always expand. Probably always expands. More confidence. I, you can't understate confidence. I have more confidence in these silver tips doing their job properly than I do in these. Now, I've shot these into all sorts of things. Uh, I've shot them into water bottles. I've shot them into various fruits. I've never shot them into meat. Uh... I would not be surprised if you can find a Paul Harrell video of him shooting these into his meat target. Uh, he may or may not have done silver tips, um, or maybe somebody else did. But I have more confidence in this. And that's not a lack of confidence here. It's simply a little more. Now, don't get me wrong. To the doctor patching the person up later, there are way more differences. The actual end result 10-15 minutes later can be very different. However, the immediate and the threat kind of situation, the difference between these two is minimal. The difference between 45 and 9mm is minimal. The difference between 44 Magnum and any of these other rounds is minimum. Now, it isn't insignificant, but shot placement matters more. If you miss, it doesn't matter what you shot with. So, 
Just throwing that out there. If you can't find the premium ammo you want, you are better off, rather than having, you know, 20 of this, 20 of something else, 20 of something else, where you can't make sure your gun likes it, you're way better off having this or the Remington equivalent or CCI equivalent or somebody's ammo. But more of one thing that will do the job is better than a whole bunch of different things that might be better. If you can't test it, how can you trust it? I, I happened to luck out. I got a fair bit of this um, all at once. And I'm going to shoot about half of it, making sure my gun likes it. And then load up the rest of my mags and I'll be good for a while. That's my thoughts. Feel free to comment. Feel free to post your favorite loads. Uh, I am not specifically saying that these are the best two examples. They just happen to be what I've got. Um, and I'm not downplaying the HST load. I think it is wonderful. I just haven't seen any in a long time. Uh, I had not stocked up on it before things went nuts. Uh, I have some for the 45, but mostly I'm an XTP guy for 45. Uh, I'm also an XTP guy for 9mm for my prior loads and my hand loads. So... It's what I've got. Uh, I think it works pretty well. I think that XTP versus HST, the HST is probably superior. But again, availability versus performance, I'd rather what I can get versus what I can't get. I, I can't hold this up and say I can't get it because I did. But So shoot what you can. Test your ammo. Don't trust premium ammo to work reliably in your gun without testing doesn't matter what it is. Some guns just don't like certain loads. You have to make sure of that first. I'm not going to say you got to fire 500 rounds of it, but at least run a full mag, each of your mags, through the gun. Uh, so if you have three mags, run all three mags full through the gun. If you've only got one or two mags, run them a couple times. But you want to make sure the gun functions reliably. Most modern guns, pretty omnivoric. Uh, omnivoracious, what, how do you, they're mostly omnivores, they'll eat anything, but there's still rounds out there that certain guns don't like. Uh, I am a 1911 guy, but one of the things I have to accept is that some of the really fat hollow points in 45 don't feed super reliably in it. Uh, I shoot XTPs out of my 45, haven't had any issues, but other people with more old school 45s, maybe they do. Uh, but anyway, take care, have fun, stay safe, y'all, keep shooting what you can, keep training, dry fire if you have to, and don't let 2020 get to you. It's almost over. I mean, I can't say that 2021 has to be better, but at least it's not 2020. Take care, all Say hi. Oof. Oof. Oof.